Cannon has come a long way since being a Nickelodeon star and the days even before that growing up in the Lincoln Park Bay housing projects in San Diego. In recent times, it's reported he lives in a multi-million dollar estate in New Jersey. Although you may assume this star would rather be in Hollywood, he prefers the quiet area he lives in so he can keep his kids out of the spotlights. We'll take a look at Nick's mansion in Saddle River and two other properties he's called home over the years. We even found some of the listings. I also noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. Nick Cannon is a comedian, rapper, and TV host who started out as a teenager on Nickelodeon's All That series, which I remember watching as a kid. Tanya, I have a really, really important delivery coming. Can you let me know when it gets here? Oh yes, Miss Williams, you the boss. I live to serve. Ugh. Prior to all that, Nick didn't have a privileged upbringing and grew up in the housing projects of San Diego. He didn't catch his first break until he did stand-up comedy on his father's local cable access program. He then went on to host the Nick Cannon show, Wild and Out, America's Got Talent, Lip Sync Battle Shorties, and The Masked Singer. Recently, Nick has also been super outspoken on his podcast, whether good or bad, and it's gotten him into some trouble. A few months ago, he was reportedly fired from Wild and Out due to some anti-Semitic comments he made, and although he apologized, it was pretty bad. Nick has also dabbled in music and acted in some films over the span of his career, such as Love Don't Cost a Thing and Drumline. We can't deny that his former marriage to singer Mariah Carey was also highly publicized, and so was their breakup. They married in 2008, had twins together, and finalized their divorce in 2016. Nick also had to say goodbye to the big mansion the family previously shared in Bel Air, along with the divorce, but we'll take a glimpse of it shortly. We all have have crazy dreams as a kid of like, oh, when I get older, I'm gonna have a candy <laughs> store in my house. And you know, when I got the ability to be able to do it, I said, hey, why not? With a current estimated net worth of 30 million, he may not be as rich as his ex-wife Mariah, but Nick's doing quite well and well enough to rent out a mansion worth 11K per month. It's safe to say that he's come a long way since growing up in a gang-ridden neighborhood of Southeast San Diego. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna take a look at Nick Cannon and where he calls home, like his current place in Saddle River and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Dwight Howard and T.I. and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Back in 2015, after the big divorce, it was reported that Nick and Mariah had sold their Bel Air estate. Located high above the swanky neighborhood of Bel Air, Los Angeles, the former couple purchased the celeb pedigreed home in 2009 for $6.9 million, which 80s poster queen Farrah Fawcett lived in once upon a time. When it came time to sell, Nick and Mariah unloaded it for a cool $9 million. The gorgeous mansion sat on three acres of land and measured nearly 12,000 square feet inside with about six beds, six full, and three half baths sprinkled throughout the three floors. Any home that Nick had to buy post-divorce was a downgrade, but it's kind of hard to compete with a monster estate like this one. The multi-winged estate offered formal living and dining rooms and as you'd likely expect, a double height entrance to impress any guests to walk in. The master suite the ex-couple would have shared in happier times was upstairs with a walk-in closet, city view terrace and massive bath. But there was also a sprawling master suite on the main level, so they had their pick. Directly above the lower level master suite was the staff suite and other bedrooms upstairs included guest rooms and a huge nursery with another terrace. Elsewhere in Nick's previous Bel Air home, he could keep himself occupied with the games room, home theater, recording studio, or even the full-sized indoor basketball court. Additionally, there was the Aspen Room, a 32-foot long rustic luxe stone floored entertainment entertainment lounge with massive stone fireplace, full bar, yard access, and views over the Stone Canyon Reservoir. The back of the colonial mansion opens to a huge brick terrace with extra long swimming pool, which might I add was custom tiled with the former couple's initials. There is also a sunken spa, putting green, and a variety of patios, gardens, and rolling lawns. 
Just last year in 2019, Nick also let go of another one of his properties. He long owned a less extravagant, more humble sized abode in his hometown of San Diego. But although it was the same city he grew up in, it was a far cry from the conditions he lived in when he was younger. He bought this house newly built in 2002 for 421 k and it's located a few miles from Hula Vista in a community called Ote Ranch. Ote Ranch is a planned neighborhood or suburb that borders the Ote Open Space Preserve. While the two story home was not as jaw dropping as that Bel Air mansion, it was still classy and comfortable. Inside, Nick's previous house offered 2,173 square feet with five beds and three baths. Outside, it included a palm tree topped yard, a concrete patio, and a spacious lawn with gorgeous views of the mountains. The living spaces throughout were neutral toned and carpet covered much of the living and dining areas. There were plenty of windows in the common spaces offering views to the cozy backyard and letting in natural sunlight. The Eden kitchen had a center island and tiled floors while one of the family rooms nearby used the same flooring. Sliding glass doors lead to the outside, so while the home was more modestly sized, it had plenty of space to entertain. Considering Nick has moved across the country to New Jersey, he likely didn't have much use for this space anymore. He unloaded his San Diego house for over 603 k last year, banking almost 200 k on the sale. In 2015, Nick found a new home far from Hollywood in Saddle River, New Jersey, a posh neighborhood probably Probably the nicest in that area, full of mansions and homes with rolling lawns. His two acre property is only an hour from downtown New York City, so while it's rural, it's not too far from the action. Nick shares custody of their children, twins Monroe and Moroccan, with Mariah, and although the ex couple lives on separate coasts, they make it work. Nick said he wanted to move to a quieter area like Saddle River to keep his kids out of the immediate spotlight. It's been reported that Nick shells out a whopping 11k per month in rent to live here, but he was given the option to buy the $3 million property. Considering a fair amount of time has passed since move-in, there's a good chance that by now Nick owns the home. Listing materials also claim that the house was purchased in 2018 and there's no news of Nick moving out, so the buyer is probably him. Inside his Saddle River estate spans 8,731 square feet and has 10 foot ceilings and cherry wood walls throughout. There's also an elevator with access to all three levels, as well as three beds, three baths, and an additional guest suite. This doesn't include the impressive master suite that has its own private elevator and oversized attached bath with jacuzzi. The entryway is as elaborate as you'd expect with double height ceilings and an ornate chandelier. There's an even nicer chandelier in what I would call a great room, offering floor to ceiling windows, a double height fireplace, and plenty of space. Nearby, you'll find a living room with bay windows and another fireplace, as well as the marble clad kitchen with French doors to the yard. And you guessed it, another huge chandelier. Built back in 19. In 89, the home underwent a ton of renovations in recent years, upgrading it for modern times. There's an extra guest bed and bath on the main level of the house, as well as a cozy library. While Mariah had no say in the home's aesthetics, apparently Nick's mom helped him decorate the mansion. I have a feeling they may have skipped Mariah's ornate touches she seems to include everywhere she lives. He also has a full finished lower level here with fireplace, gym, sauna, steam room, and bed and bath. Nick's estate has views to the water, terraces, a cabana, a gorgeous in-ground pool with waterfall, and even a private pond with a dock. There's plenty of space for his kids to play outside, that's for sure. According to an interview with Men's Health, although Nick has a gym and a ton of space at his Saddle River home, he keeps another private space in California. This is a fairly new gym. It's connected to my office building and my music studio, so I never really leave this place. No one else is allowed to use this gym. Nick reportedly has this office, gym, and recording studio building, also known as Incredible Studios, located in Studio City, California. This is where he does his work and hosts guests such as Snoop Dogg, Akon, and many more. All right, so that's all I got for Nick Cannon and where he calls home. After taking a look at a few of his properties, past and present, what did you guys think? Be sure to rate his homes in the comments down below. I gotta say his Saddle River Mansion seems to be the perfect size just in between the Bel Air and the San Diego properties. I would rate it an 8.5 from what I could see. I also recently started a personal channel, I've been posting a lot of fun stuff over there, so if you want to get to know me a bit better, please go like and subscribe and we'll link you my latest video. Am I an optimist or a pessimist, Ben? <laughs> uh, I would say not an optimist. Ow! That's true. Sorry. I'm, I'm brutal. You are exposed. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and drop a comment for whose house you want to look at next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.